Hey Capricorn, welcome to your weekly forecast for July 20 through the 26th. We've got a lovely little ocean mermaid theme here. We're going to see what's happening the week ahead with uh, this deck here. And then we're going to pull a spirit message for you all from this deck here. So without further ado, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Let's see what's going on for our Capricorn friends in the week ahead. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising. I feel like it needs one more little shuffle here. Alrighty, my dears, let's get right on into it. So the first card you guys have coming up is the Judgment card. And it says Self-Reflection, okay? Now, this is a Major Arcana card. So when we have Major Arcana cards coming up, you guys know, uh, those that watch my readings anyway, you know that for me, Major Arcana cards indicate that you're coming into a new chapter in your life. So although we have this reading as a weekly reading, something is happening this week that is going to be coming up for you all uh, in, in like a theme, uh, a, a chapter of your life moving forward the next few months, possibly for the next few years, even for some of you. Um, but the judgment card, I know judgment sounds like a scary word, but there's absolutely positively really great aspects of the judgment card. Uh, the judgment card can be a time in which we feel that we are wanting to answer a higher calling. Uh, we're waking up, we're seeing through the, through the BS of it all, we're seeing through superficiality, um, and we're ready to do things that have more substance, more purpose, more meaning. Judgment card can also indicate a time in which you are really, really, really ready to clean house of some very major relationships in your lifetime. So this could be family members. Uh, this could be a path of work that you maybe you've in invested many years in. Uh, this could be a romantic partner that you have a lot of history with. But you may be feeling that it's come to the time where you all are moving in different directions. And so as such, um, it might be a time for parting ways for some of you. And the, the way that you're deciding who and what you're parting ways with is anything that's feeling lower vibrational to you. Now, the shell that she's blowing into makes me think of a trumpet. And typically we do see a trumpet in the judgment card in traditional tarot decks. And that yellow um, is really, really jumping out at me. So yellow I associate with Archangel Gabriel. Um, yellow and, and uh, uh, um, the trumpet also. The trumpet is something I associate with Gabriel as well because it's like a message or a sounding. So... I do feel, Capricorn, that a lot of you do have Archangel Gabriel with you at this time. Uh, and as I'm saying this, just when I started saying this, I feel like I have something in my throat. I'm going to have to pause. All right, I just had like a, a bit of a... Uh, I had to drink something. I was going to like have a hot cough attack. Um, so there could be something happening, Capricorn, in an unblocking or a clearing in your throat chakra. Okay. Um, because Gabriel is also messages. So a part of this for some of you may be speaking a truth, a truth that, uh, you've been holding on to. For some of you, it could be confessing something you feel bad about. For some of you, it could be addressing the elephant in the room. Maybe there's been a secret in the family or something that people haven't been wanting to talk about. And you're like, uh, heck with it, we're talking about it. We're talking about it and, you know, it's not going to be swept under the rug anymore. So, or maybe you're just like being more open about your feelings or just, you know, being more vocal. So, um, this is creating space for you in which, like I said, there's this energy of clearing house. Okay. So the next card here, Capricorns is page of cups and this particular creator has this card listed 
as imagination. This is a cool deck if you're trying to learn tarot and if you have a hard time remembering the meanings of the cards. Um, do keep in mind, however, that, you know, it's kind of hard to sum a card up with just one word. And so the, the words here that are chosen are going to be based on the creator of the deck and uh, like her associations with the cards. But it's still very, very helpful for learning if you're having a hard time remembering meanings of cards. So we have here Page of Cups, Imagination, right? And so a lot of you may be tapping into your imagination and tapping into your creativity. Now, in a related note, something very related to that, a lot of you that watch my readings, you may have heard me talk about Page of Cups, where Page of Cups is a card that I see come up for people when their heart chakra is opening, right? So a judgment card is like, you're ready to be in your journey. You're ready to speak your truth. Your heart chakra is opening up here with the Page of Cups. And so as our heart chakra opens and we begin to heal, one of the ways we heal is through creativity. And as our heart chakra opens, we become more creative and more imaginative. And so a lot of you are expressing yourself and healing through your imagination and creativity. Maybe some of you don't feel like you have artistic gifts or abilities, but you may be gravitating towards the things of your childhood that brought you joy, right? Uh, like, I don't know, uh, cartoons, um, uh, movies, you know, things that made you happy or, or sparked your imagination or your creativity when you were younger. You may be watching things out of like sentimental energy, right? Um, like I'm an 80s baby, so like I would be like, you know, never ending story or Rainbow Bright or Thundercats or, you know, stuff like He-Man, She-Ra, like all that kind of stuff. So whatever, whatever your childhood was filled with, you might be feeling these sentimental energies where um, you're kind of gravitating towards watching that stuff. And it's like getting your imagination going again. Some of you may be picking up artistic talents or looking up uh uh, classes or things to learn, uh, artistic things that maybe you've always been interested in, but you never gave yourself per permission to explore. Maybe you're taking a creative writing class. Maybe you're taking a painting class, a music class, a dance class. Uh, heck, it could be stand-up comedy. It could be anything, you know, but you might be uh, having this uh, taste for uh, venturing out into a playful you know, ways of playing and you're healing through this playing. The next card here, Caps. Ooh, hello. You have six of wands. And so the creator of this deck has six of wands summed up with the word success, right? I would definitely see that. Um, some of you have heard me talk about six of wands as the victory card. It definitely has that energy to it. Keep in mind that the card that comes before the Six of Wands is the Five of Wands. And the Five of Wands is struggle. The Five of Wands is competition. It's battling, right? So Six of Wands is like you're out of the battling period. You're out of the competition. You have the victory. You have the prize. And so this could mean that some of you are being chosen for something. If you've put yourself in for like a job. Maybe you've been applying for jobs or maybe you have uh, submitted some kind of proposal for something uh, or a submission for publication uh, or selling an idea, you know, pitching an idea or something. This could indicate having your idea or your application be chosen, right? You're beating out the competition. Uh, overall, though, the Six of Wands is just very confident, vibrant energy. And so some of you might be making a name for yourself. It could be uh, that people are beginning to notice you or, or see you as a significant uh, contributor in your field or in your genre or whatever it is that you're putting yourself out there as. Uh, but yeah, there's also uh, an energy here of like making a name for yourself. It could also just be as simple as you are having mastery over that, you know, critical uh, judgment where you're like, well, you can't do this and you can't do that, like overcoming that and allowing yourself to explore the things that you enjoy doing, you know. 
and having victory in that sense as well. The next card here, Capricorn. Well, hello. It's a good week to tell a cap to be a Capricorn. I'll tell you that. And I know a lot of you are like, it's about time. <laughs> Because I know, I know, Caps, you guys have had a rough patch, right? So Ten of Pentacles is security here. It's financial security. It's security in your living arrangement. So maybe that Six of Wands, maybe some of you are putting in for a new apartment or a, a house or something. Uh, there could be victory here in, in sense of uh, a living arrangement for some of you. Um, overall though, even if you're not moving, you know, 10 of pentacles is comfort in the home. It's stability. It can even be a success, which is going to, uh, be something that you're going to be able to pass down for future generations, right? Uh, you're setting yourself up to where you're going to be able to leave a legacy or an inheritance behind you. Uh, Ten of Pentacles also is a card that indicates manifesting. Our dreams, our thoughts, our ideas are coming into the physical realm. They're taking shape and they're, they're becoming real. So you might be seeing a lot of progress. You might be seeing uh, things that you've been wishing for actually beginning to trickle in, beginning to manifest, beginning to come into your life. So really, really positive energies here. Again, I encourage you to watch your moon sign and rising sign because some weeks those might resonate with you more or they may bring you a little extra information. Um, we are going to see what your angel message is here for the week. So what do we have? Angel of Guidance. And so this says here, Angel of Guidance, a renewed sense of direction and purpose will soon manifest. Well, we know you're manifesting with that Ten of Pentacles. And so this card is saying the path is becoming more clear to you. You're seeing the answers. Things were unclear. Things were fuzzy. You weren't sure what direction to go in. It's becoming clear. And you're receiving guidance from your angels and guides. Uh, the pink is really jumping out at me. So I do feel you guys are also going to be having Archangel Jophiel with you guys helping you break out of self-judgment, self-criticism, to have unconditional love of yourself, which is going to help you have the confidence to continue moving forward with the ideas. Because sometimes we have ideas, but we're too afraid to uh, act on them because we don't believe in ourselves. So I feel like Jophiel is helping you guys with that to where you're coming into that success energy of the Six of Wands. Alrighty, my darlings, again, check out your moon sign and rising sign videos. You may need a private reading, which I'm more than happy to do for you. If you want to click on the Calendly link in the uh, description of the video, you can schedule a private reading with me there. And there's still time to enter for the free 30-minute reading that I'm giving away. Every month I give away a free 30-minute reading and I give away a different prize. So um, I'll be announcing the winners uh, in, in about a week or so. So I'm just picking one winner from Instagram and one winner from Facebook. And I'm just seeing who's jumping out at me from the likes and the comments. Because every day I post a daily message and I post a pick a card game on the social media. So I'm just going to pick from there. So there's time to get in on that if you would like. Or if you just, if you enjoy the weekly videos and you would like daily messages, you know, that's a good reason to be on the social media as well. I thank you all for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. And I'm a big, big thank you to Rapid Luxury for my beautiful nails. Thank you to Lauren for my jewelry. So to say thank you to them for their generous gifts, I have them listed in the description of the video as well. Alrighty, I thank you all for watching. And uh, don't forget, Channel Angel Messages linked in the description. Love videos linked in the description. And soon... The August videos will be up for uh, love and channeled messages as well. Take care, Capricorn.